mercury ions are interacting in a peculiar way with the iodide ions. The result of their interaction is the so-called Nessler reagent. Caution is needed when working with the necessary reagents. Mercury compounds are toxic. The chloride is caustic and harm the environment. Sodium hydroxide is caustic. We start our experiment by weighing 4.4 grams of mercury 2 chloride, known also under the name of corrosive sublimate. Add 70 grams of water. and heat the mixture to allow complete dissolution of the chloride. Weigh 11 grams of potassium iodide. Dissolve it in the minimum of water needed. As it is very soluble, we don't need too much water. The third step is to measure 20 grams of sodium hydroxide in order to make 100 milliliters of 5 molar solution. Adding dropwise the iodide to the mercury solution, we notice the formation of an abundant orange precipitate of mercury to iodide. The most abundant precipitate is obtained when the mercury chloride and potassium iodide are interacted in a 1 to 2 molar ratio. The process is a double replacement reaction as shown in the equation of this chemical reaction. Further addition of potassium iodide dissolves the precipitate by forming a soluble complex. The equation describing this process reveals the formation of the potassium tetraiodomercurate. At a molar ratio of 1 to 4 mercury chloride to potassium iodide, we get the complete dissolution of the mercury iodide precipitate. Observe the yellowish color of the complex solution. Measure 40 ml of the third solution, the 5 molar sodium hydroxide. Transfer the complex solution in a 250 ml beaker. and add the alkaline solution to it. We notice a color enhancement of the mixture. The Nessler reagent is complete when we dilute the mixture to a volume of 200 ml by adding distilled water. Now we use this solution to mark the presence of ammonium ions in different solutions. For this we prepare three test tubes with the Nestler's reagent. We add in the first test tube a solution of ammonium chloride and we notice the brown-orange precipitate.
Ammonium acetate gives the same response when mixed with the Nessler's reagent. Ammonia, which contains ammonium hydroxide, gives also a positive reaction. This reaction is a very sensitive one. At very low dilutions we don't get a precipitate but a reddish color. Measuring the intensity of the color with a photometer, we can set up an analytical procedure for measuring the content of the ammonium ions in water.